This is a special report from About Space Today. Welcome to Special Report. I'm David Denault. First settled in 1876 and nestled in the northern Black Hills of South Dakota is the small city of Lead, once the home of the Homestack Mine, the largest gold mine in North America. And when it closed in 2002, the town took a big hit as hundreds of workers lost their jobs and many left in the search of work. But the future of LEED could hinge on people going back underground to dig into a very different matter. Dig a tunnel long enough to chase the ghostly particle that could unlock the secrets of the universe. Next on Special Report. Ever dream of an island getaway at an all-inclusive resort or going on an island hopping cruise to multiple island destinations? See sunbleached beaches and swim in the azure waters of the Caribbean Sea. Call today for your special discount prices to your island getaway. This is a special offer for About Space by calling 877-747-8631 and let's go and explore the islands of the Caribbean. Welcome back. The small South Dakota town of Lead almost became a ghost town until a new mining project would bring back jobs and people. Here's a report from the AP. A century ago, Lead, South Dakota welcomed the gold rush that transformed it into a bustling boom town. Wednesday, scientists unveiled a new underground lab that may revitalize the old mining town. It may also bring answers to scientific questions about the origins of the universe. Rick Gateskell, a scientist at Brown University, says the new Lux detector at Underground Lab might even be able to detect the elusive stuff scientists believe make up 25% of the universe's total mass energy, dark matter. I think this year of is going to be a very significant year because we get to turn the Lux detector on and know very soon whether we have actually found dark matter or not. As Kevin Lusco explains, while dark matter may exist up until now, other laboratories have not been able to detect it. We can see it through its gravitational interactions, how it affects how bigger objects revolve, but it itself is not observable. So that, that's why it's called dark matter. It doesn't emit light. It isn't uh, observable. What makes this lab so special? The new dark matter detector is nestled below the Black Hills and submerged in water, shielding it from pesky cosmic radiation. The old mine employed generations of local residents before closing almost 10 years ago. The resurrection of the mine represents a rebirth for the struggling town. The economy up here have really died after Homestake shut down. And so in order just to save, save this town, save Main Street up here, it's, I'm really excited for that. The dark matter research in the new lab slated to begin later this year. Brian Thomas, the Associated Press. But that's not the end of the story. It's the scientific research to find answers deep underground that could unlock the secrets of the universe. A new experiment aims to find out whether tiny particles called neutrinos might be the reason. Neutrinos are the most abundant matter particles in the universe. Trillions pass through us and everything else in the universe every second. The deep underground neutrino experiment, DUNE, will test whether neutrinos and their antimatter counterparts behave differently. The experiment will be housed in the Long Baseline Neutrino Facility and use a particle accelerator at the Department of Energy's Fermilab. It will create the intense beam of particles that travel 1,300 kilometers through the Earth to the Sanford Underground Research Facility. Dune scientists will build enormous, super-sensitive particle detectors while advancing state-of-the-art technologies. The detectors, located 1.5 kilometers underground, will catch neutrinos and antineutrinos as they arrive at Sanford Lab. The differences in the particles' behavior during their four-millisecond trip from Illinois to South Dakota will tell scientists whether neutrinos could be the reason that the universe is made of matter. So exactly what is the ghost particle? The discovery of the source of a ghost particle from beyond our solar system created a huge stir in the scientific community when it was announced in mid-2018. But what exactly is a ghost particle, and what does this discovery mean? Otherwise known as neutrinos, ghost particles are elementary particles with no electric charge and almost no mass. 
This neutral electric charge is where it gets the name neutrino from. Due to their lack of charge and mass, they don't interact much with their surroundings, making them extremely difficult to study, like trying to find a black object in a dark room with your eyes closed while wearing a blindfold. Even after the existence of ghost particles was first postulated back in the 1930s, it took two decades for scientists to successfully detect them. The ironic thing is that these particles are all around us. In fact, our bodies are exposed to trillions every second. So where do these mysterious non-interactive particles come from? Most come from our very own sun, but the origin of other high-energy neutrinos is more mysterious and seems to be somewhere out in deep space. We now know that neutrinos and cosmic rays can come from blazars, a huge step in understanding how the universe works. By understanding neutrinos, we have another piece in the puzzle for multi-messenger astronomy, a type of astronomy that interprets four main types of extrasolar energies, neutrinos, electromagnetic radiation, cosmic rays, and gravitational waves. Combined, these sources can tell us a lot about our universe. Our cosmic equation is far from complete, but now it makes a little more sense. With this new information about ghost particles and cosmic rays, we can put to rest old questions and begin formulating new ones. It's an exciting time for astrophysics. What will these lessons lead us to in the future? And what new discoveries are waiting just around the corner? Will scientists actually see the ghost particle down under? Perhaps. Thanks for joining us from your home or where you work. I'm David Denault, and this has been Special Report on About Space Today. This has been a special report from About Space Today. <laughs>